Hello, little goblins. Welcome to The Gallant Goblin. I'm Theo, and this is Tilly, and today we have a really intriguing new paid Kickstarter preview to share with you. Nyavina is a 5e setting and adventure book based on Slavic mythology. It features three full adventure modules, as well as the setting information inspired by Slavic customs, everyday life, and mythology. The art style is totally unlike anything I've seen before, and it's brimming with personality, and they have more than 40 beautifully unique minis and a 5e best Jerry so you know how to use them. Think of the Neofnia adventure and setting as a cross between the excitement of the Witcher and the sense of humor of Terry Pratchett. A total immersion into the world of Slavic mythology, including its beasts and its monsters, its gods and its heroes and its customs. You'll be solving mysteries and lifting curses, making dubious packs with devils unlike any you've seen before. And you'll get to experience wild feasts and celebrations of the summer solstice. It all comes with maps, a bestiary, and a game Game Master's Guide as well. Everything you need to tell some really interesting and unique stories around your gaming table. And it's all illustrated in this great, like, stained glass kind of window-esque art style. And it's brought to you by The Printing Goes Ever On, which specializes in providing high-quality 3D printable minis and accessories. They successfully fulfilled two Kickstarters already, The Minds of Maznar, which features minis and terrain and a 5D adventure, and Puzzles and Props, which provided a lot of fun printable magic items and puzzles with linked 5e stats so you could hand out actual magical items when the heroes found them in the game. And they also have a very successful ongoing Patreon making new minis and terrain on the regular. And maybe the best part of Neofnia for you mini lovers is that you can get the STL files for these Neofnia characters to make your own minis at home. And all the STL files come professionally pre-supported by Haydash Workshop. Here you can see just some of the minis that'll be available during this Kickstarter and they offer just oodles and oodles of STL files as add-ons from their previous projects. So this could be quite the dragon's horde of new minis for your campaigns. I want to show you just a couple of my very favorites. You can see all the models on their Kickstarter page. This is Hobold, a little helpful but needy owl spirit who can assist you around the house. Here's their version of a cockatrice, a type of chimera who is able to petrify foes. This here is Liko, a little cheeky demon who might snatch some of your shinies. And this is Planetnik, a laborer who has to heft the clouds from place to place. This here is Charlehi, a little burrowing creature who's become the bane of the miners in Neofina. And this is a noon wraith who can bring sudden death to field workers in the hot day sun. And here's a treat for you. You can download the noon wraith stat block and the STL file right now for free to see how good it looks on your gaming table. And don't worry, if you aren't a 3D printer, you can also get the physical versions of the minis sent to you if you prefer. Go check out all the minis in the core set for yourself on the Kickstarter page. They they also have a few mini stretch goals as well, so hopefully we'll get a ton of fun new creatures for our games. As of this recording, they've already unlocked some really cool new ones like these air elementals. But now let's talk more about the book. First of all, if you're intrigued and you want to know more, they have a free, nearly 60-page quick start guide to learn more about the world. You get to see one of their new races, the Treekin, who have a special bond with the original trees of the land and who can communicate with animals and the plant life of the wilds. They also have a new subclass for the Druid in the free quick start guide, the Volkovs, who serve as connections to the spiritual world. They can gain control of creatures using their shadows, communicate with the dead, and read the strings of fate among other abilities. And you even get a little two to four hour adventure that you can run that will introduce you and your party to the world of Nyavina. It's called Wedding Trouble. Your party will be magically transported to the world of Nyavina, where they will find a village that's preparing for a very special celebration. There's a wealth of new and detailed NPCs to meet and a great little mystery to solve. It is a really good introduction to the world and some of the really unique creatures that your PCs can encounter there. There are even some pre-generated characters and a printable or extractable map to help you hit the ground running. As far as the full book, they have gone all out. It'll feature all new Slavic themed D&D mechanics, Plus four new races, the Treekin, Rasalka, Vuzalka, and the Diavol. 
I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing all of them correctly. There are eight new subclasses for the fighter, druid, wizard, ranger, sorcerer, warlock, cleric, and rogue, plus new magical items and spells and rituals, all based on Slavic mythology, folklore, and cultural customs. And it's all really nicely formatted in their beautiful art style. The world of Nyavina is split into nine kingdoms or voidvodoships. Each one has its own rulers and customs and creatures. And they each have a civilized side and a wild side, each with their own flavors. The the setting guide will be really robust with chapters about what the life is like in Nyavina, from birth all the way through death, including their custom calendar, their cultural rituals, the celebrations, and their feasts. The included bestiary features 50 unique monsters and characters with illustrations and, of course, those printable minis. There are three adventure modules included as well, targeted at low, middle, and high-level characters. They'll have both a world map and a lot of tactical maps for your encounters. Now, one thing I really appreciate is that they have a language guide this book is not dumbing down the Slavic-inspired locations and character names for folks like me, who, as you can tell, and as you know if you've watched the videos before, struggle with even the easiest English words. The included language guide really walks you through how to pronounce the tough words in this book with flair. More books need to have little language guides like this. And finally, you've got the Game Master's Guide to help you get familiar with the setting. It also contains lots of plot hooks and secrets and mysteries to help you tell your own stories in Nyavina. If you'd like to try Neopnia for yourself, the makers of the game are hosting some one-shots that you can participate in as a charity fundraiser. For 15 bucks, you can get a seat at a virtual table for a Neopnia game with an experienced game master. You can get to know the setting and you get to help a good cause all at the same time. You can pick up those tickets on their website, which we have listed below the video description here. And like any good Kickstarter, you can go in for a little or you can go in for a lot. You can get digital versions of the core Neopnia book and and the map sets for just 20 euros. And if you're just interested in those gorgeous minis, you can get the core SDL bundle of 38 pre-supported minis for 20 euros as well. The digital all-in bundle will get you the digital book, maps, and the printable minis, plus the stretch goals as they unlock. That tier is 50 euros. If you'd like nice physical books like we do, you can get the Neofnia hardback book and the physical maps for 80 euros. And it comes with the digital, and, digital books and the maps as well. You can get all that including the physical book and add in the 3D printable minis and stretch goals for 99 euros. And if you want the physical book, maps, and physical minis that you don't have to worry about printing yourself, you can get that for 300 euros. This is such an awesome project. I really love these deep dives into cultures that I'm not really familiar with. And being able to explore them in our 5e games makes them that much more immersive and exciting. They've created a land in which all those Slavic myths and stories are actually true. There are demons and half demons and spirits wandering out in the wilds. And the traditions of the humanoids are based on the real history of the Slavic peoples. Hi, Tilly. And I love that if you're mostly a mini fan, you can just pick up those as well, as the sculpts are just brimming with personality. And of course, you can add on STL packs from the Minds of Maznar and their ongoing Patreon storylines, which has some really thematic sets. I'm just going to draw your attention to their Welcome Trove, which you can get by becoming a Patreon backer. It features a bunch of classic-looking heroes with their minis in both a fighting pose and a traveling pose that you can switch out during your games. I love that. You can see all their really cool Pull minis at theprintinggoeseveron.com and then add them to your Kickstarter pledge if you like. If you got any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. You can find the link to the Kickstarter in the eye in the corner of your screen up there or in the video description and pinned comment down below. Using our links like that lets them know that we sent you, which helps us make more videos for you. The Nyavnia Kickstarter ends on the morning of May 12th. Get your pledges in early to help them reach their stretch goals and unlock even more minis and content for everyone. Thank you for watching today. You can always find me and Tilly over on YouTube at The Gallant Goblin or on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. For now, be safe, have fun, love each other, and I'll see you next time at The Gallant Goblin.